super awesome mega uber cool ping uh, don't try to do that it won't even be beneficial for your micro if you try to do that time after time because uh, when you're playing in a league match or or whatever you're going to be playing uh, you're going to play on Garena and that will be uh, a lot better ping try to move, pull off those moves when you're there but uh, and you think you can't pull them off otherwise don't do it on the ladder it's uh, it's pretty pretty much a waste if you lose games because you're not able to staff a bear or two so that's pretty uh, pretty sucky and take a look at the items of the Pandaren Brewmaster he's uh, he's got the belt of strength we've got the robe of the magi he's got the Kadigar's Kadigar's gem of health and uh, Soccer is taking this fight with just his Pandaren Brewmaster and he's rejuvenating it, but you gotta watch out that you're not just feeding the destroyer mana. That's why you ran away with the Panoram Brewmaster almost instantly. Because uh, uh, that way the destroyer's devour magic attack would miss. And also the Panoram Brewmaster is wreaking havoc on those statues, which is a really good choice. Uh, bears are just trying to chase down some fiends and the, the statues just die so fast to Breath of Fire. And unabling... Uh, He's basically unable Ted to get some more destroyers. And here are the Panda and Brewmaster level to level 6. And this is all part of Soccer's plan. He intended this from the very start. Well, perhaps not that the Panda and Brewmaster got to level 6. But he did, in fact, intend... Uh, he did, in fact, intend that, uh, that the Panda and Brewmaster would be high level. He did, in fact, intend that Ted was going to be pushing him at tier 3. And that's why he built the base uh, in the way he did. And... I think he was uh, he was really confident in his panda throughout the entire game, and that's what uh, what gave him uh, the victory. Some really nice knowledge of the matchup, and here uh, we will just see some some bankai by uh, by Sakura, pretty much owning uh, whatever Tad has got left. And Tad tries to bite his apple and get the Death Knight, but he isn't able to, and he calls good game. So that was his game. So what did we see? Uh, we saw Sakura anticipating really nicely what. Tat was going to do. He built a strategy. Um, he built his strategy uh, to counter Tad's perfectly. But on the other hand, it is, if you ask me, in my opinion, it's it's a bit risky because uh, once the tier three push of the undead comes in, uh, it will be really hard to uh, to fend off as a night elf, even with such a such a leveled panda. But luckily for for soccer. Uh, uh, well, well, he's a top player. He's obviously been in uh, in this situation many times before, and he's tested this out. So, uh, props to him for uh, for for being so confident for, uh, to uh, to put himself in that situation. And in the end, it definitely paid off because the Panoram Brewmaster was just was simply a beast. And well, that that was basically what what went down in this audio commentary. And always try to keep a look on uh, on the undead hero's mana. Or whether they got mana potions or not. That's that's really essential when you're playing against this race. So the next game we're going to see is an old school legend game between uh, Mr. Fav and Mr. Remind. And I've always been a fan of uh, of both of these players. And they're really awesome. And we get to see Fav, who has retired Warcraft 3 for quite a while now, play really, really awesome with ghouls and gargoyles. And gargoyles are... Well, they're pretty much considered an old-school strat right now because everybody's doing his ghoul fiend uh, triple hero thingy. But I think gargoyles are definitely uh, the most, uh, uh, the best strategy undead can use playing against night elf on most maps. So I don't know why it's that underused, but uh, we're going to take a sh short break and then we're going to talk about uh, the gargoyle game by Fav and Remind. Uh, we're going to go on with uh, the next game which is Fav vs. Remind on uh, Twisted Meadows as well. And let's get the game started, get it paused at the one minute mark, and let's go, 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 let's do this. Um, where is the replay? I'm telling you guys to hurry, but I actually can't find the game on my desktop. Ah, there it is. Which is Fav vs. Mojari Remind. <laughs> so, uh, let's get it to the one minute mark. And Fav has decided to spell his name really stupid with uh, the capital letter O. <laughs> Looks kind of weird, but uh, whatever. I'll just go to the one minute and there's date DATV again. So let's. Eh, come on. Yes, let's pause at the one minute mark. And the differences, there are plenty of differences uh, we will see in this game as opposed to the first game. But uh, uh, let's, uh, let's just take a look. Uh, Going to resume the game right now in five, four, three, two, 
one and resume. So one minute one, one minute two, one minute three, one minute four, etc., etc. Uh, Remind, he's building his uh, Ancient of War next to the creeps, and the reason why he's building his Ancient of War next to the creeps, as opposed to Soccer, who built it more safely to the back, is because Remind is going for a Demon Hunter. And if you get going for the Demon Hunter, you want to get every hit off that creep, is, uh, every hit on that creep. Yeah, you want to get as, as many hits on that creep as fast as possible because you uh, won't be able to uh, deal some extra damage with the Shadow Strike. And when once elves are creeping this with uh, with the Warden and the Ancient of War in the back, they always get a Shadow Strike off the uh, Null Overseer to uh, kill it uh, more efficiently. It, I mean, at least if it's in a good position, not like uh, the game we just saw. But if this was the same position, then uh, Remind and Remind would have gotten the ward, and he would have crept this spot by getting uh, Shadow Strike on the Forest Knoll, uh, on the Knoll Overseer. And the reason why he uh, decided to build this Ancient of War so close is that with the Demon Hunter, uh, you can afford the risk of uh, of getting your uh, Ancient of War so close to the uh, uh, to the creeps and getting it cancelled by the ghouls. Because but you will just build another Ancient of War in your base, and it will be just as safe. And it is more uh, more easy to defend uh, against uh, a push by the undead with a demon hunter than it is to defend against a push of undead by uh, with the warden. And a uh, remind is uh, really creeping this well, even though the harassment uh, by Fof is uh, pretty solid as well. Just with that acolyte, he managed to annoy the shit out of the remind here and force him to bring an extra two wisp to repair. And take a look at the base, he's closed off, uh, he's basically denied access to uh, the Tree of Life from one point. Enabling ghouls to uh, to uh, to deal some sufficient damage here, and there's also uh, the Moonwell blocking it, and the heroes can't pass there. So that's basically uh, a point where Remind uh, can maneuver his units around. And right now he knows that uh, Fav is going to be on the aggressive, and he's going in with the Demon Hunter. And what you gotta do here is be careful, most importantly, be careful not to get surrounded. And if you can, try to get some hits off on a death knight or on some ghouls or whatever. Just try to get as many hits off as possible. And usually we'll just ha you will just have to hit, move around, hit, move around, hit, move around. And at this point, uh, you will often see undeads uh, trying to, uh, to harass your wisp. And it's really annoying because at this point you are forced to choose to stick with your archers and defend or to try and actually kill some units. They're so easily microable by uh, by the undead. And let's he's just getting a skeleton inside Remind's base. Already killed a wisp, and this is really annoying. When you're playing against gargoyles, uh, they're going to play on... Uh, their strategy basically uh, revolves around annoying your economy and then staying at 50 food as long as they can. And by annoying your economy, I mean... Uh, not giving you uh, giving you access to uh, to any lumber at all. First with the ghoul push, then you're not able to uh, to get both lores up most likely, and then you will uh, you will face even even worse harassment by uh, by the incoming gargoyles on your wisp. And with all these ghouls, they will usually get a lot of kills on your archer. This is a really nice decision by Remind by scaling emulation. He knows that he doesn't have sufficient archers to uh, to 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 get this back or to uh, to push this push back. And instead, he's decided to train emulation again to detonate with the wisp, and this is also uh, really, um, really uh, annoying for for a night elf when you are playing against gargoyles, and still with the ghouls, you're often forced to detonate some wisp on the skeletal minions, and when you're um, in this situation, if you detonate, uh, you'll have an, uh, another less uh, wisp on lumber. And what Remind did right here really nicely is he spread out some wisp, and it's always recommendable when you're playing and undead. He's got two uh, where he uh, where he could build his, uh, his his gold mine, basically all the way uh, and basically at nine o'clock of the map. And he's also got some at uh, three o'clock of the map, and he's also got one at uh, Fav's base. So check out what he's doing if you're going for gargs or if he's going for fiends anyway. And this is uh, good scouting here by Remind. He manages to. Uh, well, he basically just manages force to back, force to back off and uh, and throw away a death coil. And I don't know if he's able to kill this ghoul or not. Let's take a look if Fav is able to block it. Yeah, Fav is blocking this magnificently. And it really amazes me that a player like Fav, who quit ages ago, uh, is still able to play at such a high level. And if you ask me, the game uh, uh, was won by Fav, but he uh, he kind of uh, he kind of threw it away. But of course, uh, the elf wins in in the audio commentary. But but still, 
It's uh, it's more of a of a mistake 